when you first have a child, especially your firstborn, you kind of want to have that baby bliss. I remember when Callie would wake up in the night and I would go into her room and she'd be crying like any baby does and I would pick her up and I remember sometimes being very challenged to sing to her because I was going through all of these emotions that well she can't hear me anyway so what's the point and I just remember that sense of loss of how am I gonna make this baby feel love when she can't hear me. The day she got her ears turned on, her eyes, from the minute, the first sound that was the first beeps that even went in to her ears, her eyes just, she just lit right up and she looked right at us. Those little eyes just got so sparkly. <laughs> I saw a video that um, when we first got them turned on and we had all these toys and stuff and I was pushing a whole bunch of like toys and it was so loud and stuff and yeah. I remember my husband and I looked at each other and and uh, I think we just kind of knew that, that it was probably the same scenario as well for Lexi. We knew without a doubt as soon as her hearing loss progressed to the point of being a cochlear implant candidate 100% for sure she was uh, getting a cochlear implant. I mean, we all face those fears of putting your baby through surgery and all of those kind of things. And it was emotional. It was tough for us to go through. And from that first moment, it was confirmed that they could hear us. And it was just such a joyful feeling. And we knew we had done the right thing. Our teacher, one day she told us that there was a miracle in our classroom because of me, my, my hearing. Our lives are completely changed. They wouldn't, it, it just wouldn't be the same. They couldn't hear us, so, sorry. <laughs> They're gonna be embarrassed. <laughs>